Hello, Crossroads family. My name is Keegan, coming to you with the daily devotion for Friday. And Crossroads is in a current sermon series called Jesus Is. And this past Sunday, the message was on how Jesus is our provider. And the reading comes from John chapter 12, verses 3 through 7. And it reads, Then Mary took, out, took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, the disciple who would soon betray him, said, That perfume was worth a year's wages. It should have been sold and the money given to the poor. Not that he cared for the poor. He was a thief. And since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. Jesus replied, Leave her alone. She did this in preparation for my burial. So right away in this example, we see how Judas's heart clearly was not in the right place and his motives um, were not in the right place, where Mary, on the other hand, her motives were in the right place. Her motives were to sacrifice for Jesus out of love. And I know sometimes uh, I can be like Judas, uh, especially studying business in college, Right away in this example, I kind of have that logical thinking like, what is Mary doing spending all this uh, money on expensive perfume to put on Jesus' feet and to sacrifice for him when he doesn't eat it? We, you know, we should be using that money more efficiently and effectively to give to the poor um, and to reach more people for Jesus instead of spending it on his feet. Um, but in this example, right away, we see how that not what Judas's heart wasn't in the right place. That's not what he actually wanted. Uh, he was focused on the money itself. And we see on Mary, on the other hand, her motive was love. She loved Jesus and wanted to give of her time, talent, and treasures to glorify him and to give her praise to God out of love. And that brings me to my point of my devotion is, what is our motivation to sacrifice for God? I think many of times we can break it down is our motivation out of fear or is it motivation out of love because fear can be a great motivator and can cause us to sacrifice a lot and do a lot of great things um, scripture talks about how the fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom so I think fear is a healthy thing a lot of times and can also be a healthy motivator for example I've seen um, in the military fear can be a great motivator when we're uh, scared, if we don't do well on a project because our boss has high expectations for us, um, or even going back to um, just like basic training type stuff where the drill sergeant's yelling in your face. Soldiers tend to do a lot more reps uh, when you got someone yelling in their face. Um, so again, being fearful um, of repercussions or consequences can be a good thing and can motivate us to sacrifice um, and do what God wants us to do. But ultimately, uh, God wants our motivation to sacrifice him to be out of love. Because fear is not what Je brought Jesus to that cross. There was a lot of fear going on in Jesus' heart. We see that in the Garden of Gethsemane uh, when he prayed to God and asked, Lord, won't you take this cup away from me, but let your will be done, not mine. And ultimately, we knew that Jesus... Jesus knew he would have to go to that cross and his motivation was certainly love, not fear. <laughs> and that's what Jesus wants all of our motivation to be when we sacrifice for him and give of our time, talent, and treasure for him is to be love because we're grateful for what he's already done for us. And we just want to love him and love others because of what he's done for us. So I have another passage, Psalm 51, 17, uh, about sacrifice, and it states, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. So if you're anything like me, not the smartest uh, person there is, I kind of read that and I get confused a little bit. Um, but this analogy kind of helped me um, understand it better. The and it's a horse analogy. So if you take a wild horse, uh, what do you have to do with it uh, to be able to ride it? 
you have to break it down. You got to break its spirit and say, horse, I know you were wild, roaming free, um, out in the prairie grass, um, having a good old time, but now you're not free anymore. I'm in charge. I'm the owner. I'm going to break you down. I'm going to put a bit in your mouth. I'm going to get reins and show you that I'm in control, that you don't have freedom anymore, but you will obey me where I want you to go and you will follow my commands. And in that same way, that's what Jesus wants out of us. Ultimately, us as humans, we're all slaves to something. We're either a slave to the world and our flesh, or we're a slave to Christ. And when we're a slave to Christ, um, sacrificing for him and being controlled by the Holy Spirit, letting, his, uh, letting the Holy Spirit guide our steps and our choices each and every day to sacrifice for him, that's when uh, we realize that God's in control and he has the reins, if you will. And that's when we can truly be free when we're a slave to Christ. So that's how I wanted to conclude my Devo is again with that verse. It's the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, oh God, you will not despise. So God wants us to break, he wants to break us down. He wants us to have a spirit saying, Lord, I need you. I need you every single second, every single minute of the day. I'm guilty. I want to be controlled by your Holy Spirit in all I do and be motivated out of love to glorify you and sacrifice of myself for you. <laughs> so uh, that is my devotion for today. And I hope you have a blessed Friday. Take care.